<laughs> Take a look at this view here. That's crazy. I met one guy on the way down, a local one. And that's it. I'm all alone up here. All alone. Take a look at this. Definitely go here. I walked past this amazing temple the other day. I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's full of lanterns. I don't think it's a usual thing. I might be something around Buddha's birthday a few weeks ago. I don't think I've ever seen this many lanterns ever before. It looks incredible. After we visit here, we're gonna go to a green spot over here and it looks like it's a forest on the map. And there's small hidden gems. I saw a golden lion and I saw that there was some kind of viewpoint from up there. Very much looking forward to that. And if you don't know, Seoul have a lot of greenery inside the city. And it's not just small parks. It's actually huge forest kind of places. That was hard to say. <laughs> Let's go and check out the temple here first. It looks amazing. Take a look at this. Okay, let's go to the main entrance so we start the proper way. Take a look at the entrance already now. So beautiful. It's actually quite crowded today. It wasn't that bad the other day, but I didn't bring my camera that day. It looks like a video game here. This is so amazing. What an incredible view. <laughs> this is this is really something. Let's go this way around and then see. Looks like the actual temple building is right here. Also super beautiful with the all the wood and the paint. Take a look at this. It really gives it some kind of really nice effect that the tree is right there, right? See in there? There are three huge Buddhas right there. And then a lot of people sitting, just hanging out on chairs. Very nice. This place must look completely different when the lanterns are not here. Because it's really giving it <laughs> quite an effect. But like both on the ground and then like you feel like you're kind of in a building and here's for candles and stuff like that and also here in the back I feel like it's a little bit different colored up there and then I hear music and I'm not quite sure if it's a live thing or if it's just a CD. Kind of feel like it's just a CD. <laughs> I'm that old. <laughs> I actually think it is live, the music from in there. Really, really love this tunnel here also. <laughs> Then in the back side of the temple here is all whites again. I still don't know why some of them are white. So let's go in and then see how it is in here. It was completely packed with people in there and I don't want to be in the way with my big camera. So I just went in there, did a Y. I'll try and come back some other day. Hopefully not that many people. When I walked past here the other day, there was actually nobody in there. Anyways, really, really nice. Beautiful in there with three big Buddhas. And then in the ceiling, full of small lanterns, actually.
What a beautiful place. I just walked around in there taking all of the B-roll shots and there's actually not that crowded now. At least all the tourists left and then it's only local people there now. It's a little bit on the small side, but the main building is actually huge. And with the big Buddhas inside the building, it just looks so stunning in there. It's a little bit of shame that it was so packed, so we couldn't really see it. Definitely worth a visit. And I guess also when the lanterns are not here. There was just one of these guided tours walked past and she said the lanterns are because of the birthday. So we're so lucky that they're here when we're here. I'm starting to be a little bit hungry. So let's find some food on the way to the forest. Right here in the background, you actually see exactly what I'm talking about. There's this small, should we call them mountains? They're probably too small to be mountains, but it kind of looks like that, right? So where we're going is right there in the back. But first, let's find some food. I see a UC here, which is that 7-Eleven kind of style store. It's a little bit confusing in their huge store and I walked around and where these normally are, they won't. I was like, this place is so big, they need to have them. They had a spot for them right next to the register. I guess if you know they are there, it's very convenient to just go in, take them and then go out. These triangles is a miracle to humankind, I would say. I actually thought I would get tired of eating them at some point. But so far, I'm just loving them more and more. And I eat them every day. At least for breakfast, I will have two. Usually one with fish and then one with chicken. Maybe at some point I will get tired of it. So far, not at all. The weather is really nice. And I'm actually even sweating a little bit. I think it's 28. So it's not like really warm, but we're getting there for sure. The forest is supposed to start not that far from here. And then the walk all the way up to the viewpoint is like 45 minutes or something like that. I have no clue what you can see, but I hope we will be able to see the city from up there. That would be so amazing. So far, I really love being here still. It's so amazing. I would say, however, the other day I missed the southeast a little bit. I don't know if it's the heat. Probably it's more like a little bit of everything. Like it is so nice there. I'm looking forward to be back but really enjoying being here though. And then soon Japan also. I will finish eating and then a coffee would be nice if there are any nice ones around. We had the dinner right there. And look, a coffee takeout, three and a half for a latte. The place looks super cool. Let's try it. I feel like it's a sign. I just walked a little bit up the hill. There was very heavy traffic at the main road down there. That was a pretty nice car, that one. Let's try the coffee. First of all, I ordered a latte. This is a cappuccino. Like, I can feel it on the weight. This is way lighter than a latte is supposed to be. Anyways, it doesn't really matter to me. What matters is if it's good or not. It smells really nice. It is quite good. It's not fantastic, but it's good. This is what I need for today. <laughs> and then the lid is actually cardboard. I can't really define if I really, if I really like it or if it's just okay. It's kind of just right on the edge of being really nice, but there are some kind of weird bitterness, but all <laughs> coffee is kind of bitter, but it's very hard to define, let me try again. I think maybe it's a little bit burnt, the milk. Like if you heat the milk up too much, it will have like this burnt taste. And I think that is what it is. Like it's not the coffee, but it's the milk. So she probably heated it up a little bit too much, which is a shame because I think if that hadn't happened, it was actually been perfect and we could put it on the map. 
but I'm not gonna do it just because I think it would be good enough. I actually need to have the coffee that will be good enough. And that is really a thing. The place I'm having my morning coffee in the morning, which in the first soul video, I go there and say, I'm gonna try it again and see how it is. There are two girls, there's the woman owning it, amazing woman, and then there's a the girl there, also amazing girl. Both of them, they make super good coffee. The other ones, and then there is like a guy there, it's terrible. So I only have coffee there when I know that it's one of the girls that know how to do it, because then it's really good. And that is really the thing with coffee. Like if you want them like I want them, the person making it have such a big impact on the coffee. I remember when I was in Long Pabang, no, what is it called, that city? Punsavan in Lao. I went to the same place in the morning to have my breakfast and a coffee, and there was a guy working there, and the coffee was super, super good. And then one day, he left his wife. <laughs> that was actually so funny. I think it's in the video also. That poor woman, he went to Wencheng to do something. I can't remember if I, she even told me, but she was like, I'm not quite sure I know how to make the coffee. And I just said, just do it and then we'll see. And she did it, but it was horrible. But she never done it before. I was just telling her, I'm so sorry that he just left you without telling you how to do it. I guess she normally just make the food or whatever. But it's the same bean, the same machine, same everything, but the coffee was terrible. And that's gonna be the thing with my coffee map also, because that's based on my experience that day. And also this one, maybe if I go back and this is another person making it, it will be better. I can only do it on the experience I have. And that's also, if you ever go to a place that's on my map and it's bad, that's because you didn't have the same barista as me or something else changed. Okay, I'll drink this and then I just thought about it. Usually I will have a backpack on me, but here in Seoul I just leave all my stuff at my place so I don't take the backpack. Batteries for the camera will be in my pocket. So I don't have a place to put this other than my back pocket. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure to drink everything and then put it in my back pocket. And then hopefully there'll be a trash can somewhere around. Otherwise we're gonna carry it all the way up this little mountain thing. By the way, this place looks so amazing. So I can only imagine it's gonna be even better when we get off the top. I'll drink the coffee. <laughs> I just said I'm gonna eat the food and then we're gonna go to the top. Now I'm saying I'm gonna drink the coffee and then we're gonna go to the top. That's gonna be the case though. Here's that golden line already. I don't know, maybe I'm just walking faster than I think I'm doing. But this one was closer than I thought it was. <laughs> However, it doesn't look that shiny as it did on the photos. Can we even go there? Um, there are a crosswalk here. I think it's been a day or two since it's been polished, but it's still really cool though. Looks like it have coins inside the mouth. I just translated the sign here. It says tiger protecting the blue house and then that big palace. Okay, let's continue. I was about to say up the road, but it's actually a little bit downhill here. And I can see through here that there's already a view of the city. So if we go all the way up there, it's gonna be amazing. I think this is the third little gym. The first one was actually like big and then it's been like this one more other place on this walk already. It looks like there are all kinds of small trails through the forest, probably super amazing. And then take a look at this view here of this mountain. Like here you feel like you're in the mountain. It looks way bigger from here than down there in the city where we were earlier. And I actually expect it to be a huge load of people here, but there are almost nobody. And it looks like it's mostly local people walking up here. I actually just wanna go in here and then out to see if there are some kind of view. Oh, 
it is this is so nice and also like the acoustic of a forest when it's like this is really nice <laughs> it's probably just a old sound engineer have it i just was curious if there was some kind of view here it looks like it's all blocked though can't really see anything super nice to walk here So we're supposed to go around the corner here, but it looks like there are something up here. At least you're not allowed to fly your drone here. Let's see what's up here. I have no clue. On the sign right here, it just says top. And I guess it says something else in Korean though, but <laughs> Let's go and see what top is, if it's just the top or not. I would say it really looks like it is the top. Take a look at the view here. That's the tower. We're almost at the same height and we're not even there yet. <laughs> Take a look at this view here. That's crazy. We are on the exact same height as the bottom of the tower over there. You could really see how massive this city is, especially for me coming from a small country. This city is almost twice the size of Denmark. Denmark five and a half million ish. This place, 10 million people. This is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> that tower right out there that looks so stunning also and so high compared to everything else. I have no clue what that is, but we should definitely go there at some point also. I'm living right there. You see that building with a little bit of squares on the top there? The, right next to that is we're staying. This is incredible. And then with all of the, the mountain view in the background, <laughs> this is so nice. It's kind of a fall if you fall here though. It looks like there was a fence here at some point, but not anymore. This is definitely worth the journey up here. I met one guy on the way down, a local one, and that's it. I'm all alone up here, all alone. And take a look at this view. We can enjoy just for ourselves. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're not even at the top yet. I just saw there was this cliff balcony here. And just like this is so un unbelievable. Oh, let's continue up to the top. Maybe it's even better up there. This is so beautiful. What a view from up here. I'm, I'm so blown away about that I can experience this and then all on my own. Like this is one of the main reasons why I rarely go to like a very touristy place and try to do something else. And you go here with this crazy view of the city all alone. I've been in this little viewpoint here for at least 15 minutes filming and there's been nobody around here. Nobody. I've been here all alone. Only can hear the humming of the city and the whistling of the birds. Let's go further up and see what we can find up there. And I can feel, I can feel the coffee went through the cup now. So my back pocket <laughs> is wet. I see lanterns maybe it's some kind of temple oh, take a look at the flowers here and also a nice view it was nicer the view downstairs though so beautiful with the flowers oh here's also beautiful <laughs> with the view to the forest I'm not quite sure if there is anything here I just saw there was the string of lanterns. Let's see. It looks like there are some kind of temples set up down there.
I almost feel like we stepped into somebody's home. I see a small little Buddha there. There are signs painted on the rocks. way oh, this view of the city is just so stunning there's an actually an older man here now very friendly he said hi oh we did a wire both of us looks like we can get a little bit further off let's try it this way there is definitely blocked there are some stairs here. I think I'm just gonna translate the sign just in case it says don't go there. It just says the name, I guess. Whatever is up there, that's the name. Look, it's also full of flowers up here. Oh, and candles. And there's a spider on my camera. There you go. This is so amazing. I wish we had a candle we could put there. Oh, it's even locked. We can. It's locked. I guess there will be some kind of monks or something like that. Lighting them every day. This is such a place. <laughs> and here, the view of the city again. What a place. And there the tower. I think we are above the lower point of the tower now. I'm completely blown away <laughs> by this. <laughs> I didn't expect anything like this up here at all. Like at all, maybe a small Buddha sculpture or anything. But this is like crazy, amazing, like crazy amazing. Uh, what, what were we doing? Oh, we went up here and we were going to the viewpoint, which right now <laughs> I feel like we can only disappoint from what this is because we have been all alone out here. The view down there on the cliff was so amazing. Also here it's nice. But let's go and check it out. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's better. I doubt it's better though. Than this place up here. Definitely go here. And if you're lucky, you're all on your own like me. This is really something, thank you. We're back down on the road again. According to the map, the viewpoint is supposed to be just around the corner. I'm already now kind of disappointed of what we're gonna see because I don't think it's gonna be anything like where we just been up there, which was not even the plan. It was only because I saw the staircase up there. I was like, let's try and go there. Uh, let's see if how disappointed we get now. <laughs> and if you wanna know if the phone works up here, the answer is right there, yes. <laughs> I guess this is the viewpoint. Okay, it is pretty nice. There's a little bit of a more panoramic view because up there, we couldn't see all the way that way. I still feel like the other spot is nicer than this one though. I'll just take a look at this place. I absolutely love signs in Asia. I think in some of the other videos there will also be some signs. But this one, you're not allowed to push people over the cliff. Of course. 
there are like benches here. I guess if you have a little breakfast thing going on, breakfast thing, dinner, and then watch like the sunset, there's two hours or something like that until sunset, so I'm not gonna wait that long. And on this side, look, there is like some kind of trail up there. I guess you can go up that mountain there also. That's amazing for small hikes. And this is easy hikes because there is actually stairs, looks like all the way up there. Must be incredible view that way also. And this is the perfect place to end the video. In theory, it was more perfect up there though, but we needed to go here. That other place, go there, that's incredible to be there. Like, I would go there again if I have the time for it. So, thank you so much for joining. What an adventure up there. I'm so hyped about we went up there with that little temple, the cave temple, even more stunning. And then the end here, the view of the city, 10 million people, five and a half in my entire country, 10 million people here. And we have the view of it all. And right over there, that tower, it's probably full of tourists that have the exact same view as we do. And we are all by ourselves here. Thank you so much for watching. And then thank you for letting me and us see all of this, experience all of this. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one, where we still will be here in Seoul, exploring even more stuff. What a high this one was. Yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you. When I was younger, I was actually pretty good at this. Not anymore. I should get in shape again, though. Let's try it. That was actually not too bad. <laughs> Only two, though. I could do more, I guess.